line snaked along the sidewalk at Paseo Friday morning, many spending the night just to be among the first to get a prime spot along the Liberation Day parade route. What are you most excited for for the 80th Liberation? Our children are coming home. That's a good one. I hope they got those deals from United. Yes, they did. That helped. Thank you very much for that deal. An of exciting course. time for many looking forward to the floats and the performers ready to dazzle all along Marine Corps Drive this July 21st. Director and my goal was to get as many as we can for, for this 80th liberation to pass out to the families so that the families you know, can participate as well. Parks and Rec Deputy Director Warren Pelletier showed us the process for those lined up for permits. The VIPs and survivors will be in front of the grandstand. This year, about 100 spots have been marked for parade goers. They're going to go like wildfire. And um, yeah, and you know, we anticipate every year it happens that, you know, the people, uh, the, the public that didn't, weren't able to get slots um, will, will get upset. But like we talked earlier, you know, Guam is a loving culture. You know, if any village or anything, all the different village uh, uh, fiestas, you know, you're pretty much invited. Everybody's cello, prima, pari, everybody, you come, they see you, they're going to invite you in. A time for all on Guam to come together. Viva! And honor the greatest generation. Viva! The parade begins on July 21st at 8 a.m. The fireworks will go off at 7.21 p.m. Denise Pong, reporting for KUM News.